We facilitate this work around the nation and around the world, really. Uh, mostly what we do is we teach people how to do this. And the Tri-County Regional Planning Commission asked us to come in and create a teachable moment by doing one. So their goal, actually, the Planning Commission's goal, is to not only do this project, but to set the standard for how people are involved with community planning by doing charrettes. They want to show this is a model process. The corridor study area that we're doing this on, we're, we're modeling or, or giving an example of how to do this charrettes kind of approach to planning. On the Michigan Avenue, Grand River Avenue corridor, it starts with the Capitol Building in downtown Lansing and extends all the way out Grand River to where it or uh, out Michigan Avenue to where it curves and becomes Grand River Avenue and all the way out to Weberville on the far eastern side of Ingham County. So a charrette is like a combination of a town meeting and a barn raising. It brings the community together to work bringing whatever skills they have to the table uh, working with our design team to come up with visions and ideas for how to regenerate and revitalize the whole mid-Michigan region using Michigan Avenue, Grand River Avenue as the focal point. It is a big area. It's a long quarter. It's really, um, this is one part, this whole charrettes planning activity is one part of a three county wide regional planning initiative. And so when we look at our region here in the Lansing area, uh, that corridor, that space, um, is actually the backbone or the main street of our three county region. It's pretty much in the middle. It's the most highly trafficked corridor and uh, has the most businesses or concentration of jobs within a half mile of either side of that corridor all the way along. And, um, and it serves as an excellent example of the different kinds of locations that we have throughout our region. There's an urban core area, there's uh, neighborhoods, uh, sort of, there, um, there's East Lansing with the university town atmosphere. Um, there's Meridian Township, which is suburban, and it's somewhat like some of the other suburban areas, Delhi, Delta townships in our areas. And, um, and then it extends all the way out through uh, rural green agricultural areas, um, through Williamston, which is a medium-sized city for our area, and, and right through Weberville, which is a small town. Um, and, and all of those are areas that are very similar to other communities that we have in the three-county region. So if we do this charrettes kind of planning approach on this as an example, we'll be able to model or, or give example to how we can conduct this kind of planning elsewhere in our region. We put maps on the table, they get to actually come in and draw. See, we want to go beyond just the talking. We want to get people engaged in the design of their community and come up with ideas for where buildings should go, where parks should go, what the streets should be like, where the trees should be. All really important ideas that when we take and combine with the, uh, with the constraints of the project, what, what's realistic financially, what works engineering wise, and plus our best judgment as experts, and combine all of that stuff into proposals that hopefully people will see their ideas in and see best ideas in as we go forward. So tonight is the culmination of take, kind of taking the whole thing in, into a funnel. The beginning was opening the funnel to as many ideas, as many people as possible, and then narrowing down ideas and keeping people in the loop. And now we're at the other end of the funnel with the preferred ideas that hopefully every, everybody in here has been in, involved with this at least once or twice over this week and they see the evolution of this story of these ideas that they've been a part of. So we've had two weeks of these eight day processes. We started with one week in uh, the first week of May and asked people to think about sort of from a helicopter view, what's the whole corridor and what could be a vision for the whole corridor? What uh, overall in general are the principles or ideas that we would like to see as we continue to develop and infill and redevelop the spaces along our main street, our region's main area. During that week, we also said to people, if there was a space on this corridor that you think would, would benefit from drilling down and focusing in more detail on, tell us what space that is along the corridor. And, uh, and they did, they identified three areas along the corridor that people thought would benefit from more intense scrutiny or, or planning design. And we've spent this week conducting the same sort of a process but on those three focus areas. 
So one of the areas is um, around the neighborhood around Sparrow Hospital. Another one of the areas is the area in general around the Frandor Plaza and uh, Michigan Avenue and across the roads and up and down the street from there. And then the third area is the center, we call it Meridian Center or the near the mall in Meridian Township in that area between Okemos and Marsh Roads in general. We have had the support and participation of all of the municipalities along the corridor in this planning process as well as, as you've seen, a lot of the public. When we tallied it up, this is a number you won't believe, today we figured out all the hours that all people have put into this thing over the past eight days, and we came up with over 2,600 hours. We've had people from uh, neighbors uh, who just live in the area, to community leaders, to small business owners, to bicycle enthusiasts, to environmentalists, to uh, uh, community housing. Uh, 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 organizations, lots of people who are like the grassroots who, people who are really going to make these things happen, along with of course the public officials and staff who are charged with, with the rules and, 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 and incentivizing development. We've had developers come in, the actual developers themselves, we've had finance people. And we're looking at hundreds and hundreds of people over the first week and the, and the second week of Charette's that have participated in some fashion. Um, uh, people want to see more greenery. They want to know that areas are walkable and that they feel safe and comfortable, uh, both from a you know crime perspective, obviously, but really so that they don't feel like they're going to get plowed over by a car if they walk across from, uh, you know, from the parking garage to the to the storefront. Or um, they want to know that um, that the area is sustainably managed. Uh, so that we're considering the environment and not having to make repairs or um, emergency fixes or, uh, or address hazards that we've created in our built environment. They want to know that we've thought about that before we build another thing and make sure that things are laid out so that they're accommodating. They had ideas about in improving or investing um, space for children to play, to have more community gathering spaces built right into the businesses and, and community buildings that happen along the corridor. So we've heard that people are very excited about the possibility, which seems to be a much more real possibility now, that there could be a bus rapid transit system that runs from the Capitol building, at least right now, proposed for out to the mall area of Meridian Township. And, and they want to see um, the kinds of station stops that you would see in other famous urban areas, uh, but nicer, cleaner, and newer because they're here in Lansing and we haven't had that before. This is not a short-term process. This is a long-term vision, okay? So the next step is actually going to be continuing to develop and understand what the drawings mean and whether or not they apply and sharing that information all the way across the corridor. Eventually, the goal would be that each municipality and private property owners, when they're making decisions in the future about what to do, you know, do I build, do I knock it down, do I reface it, do I add it, do I subtract it, when they're making those decisions they say, well how do I decide between project A and project B? Um, in the old days, we would just say, well, you know, which one costs more, or which one costs less, or which one can you do faster, or which one has more market demand, and that was the only criteria. Now we have, does it fit with a regional vision for the corridor, and how well would it complement it? And we also know that this regional vision has been developed by everyone as a group, and so uh, we can share that. And people, businesses, for example, that are looking to locate, they don't have to wonder, I wonder what people in that area want. We can show them this regional plan or vision as a guide uh, to what direction to go. All of this information is available now and will be uh, constantly being filled in on um, two websites. One, which is uh, overview of the entire sustainability project 
this is just one activity, we have a number of other activities looking at how we can improve the sustainability of our community uh, in aspects of housing or energy use in, in the green infrastructure in our area. And that's available at midmichigansustainability.org. And then there's also a, a website dedicated particularly to the charrettes planning activity, which is my, M-I, grant, M-I-G-R-A-N-D, dash charrette, C-H-A-R-R-E-T-T-E dot -T -T -E, com.